Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of DXTX. I'm your host, Sahan and Safi. Glad you could join me for another episode. This week, we're going to be talking about the red flag symptoms of pink eye, or if you have a red eye, when should you be concerned? When is this not a case of conjunctivitis, and when should you get looked at? Thanks for joining me again. Let's get started. In the previous week's episodes, we've talked about what the signs and symptoms of pink eye are and how you manage those signs and symptoms. Uh, If you missed those episodes, you can find the links up top here. Uh, This week, we're going to talk a little bit more about red eye and when to be concerned about your symptoms. Not all cases of red eye are really as a result of conjunctivitis. There's a lot of other things that can go wrong that can give you a red eye. And what are the, the main symptoms that we worry about as healthcare providers that make us think, hey, maybe this isn't something as simple as pink eye. Maybe we need to do some more investigations. Maybe we need to look for other things. With regards to red eye, there's really four main symptoms that we worry about as healthcare providers that do not fit with your classic conjunctivitis type symptoms. Those symptoms include pain, photophobia, which is light sensitivity, decreasing vision, or if you've had prolonged uh, symptoms that don't seem to be getting better with our usual treatments, we start to get concerned. If you think back to the cases of conjunctivitis that we spoke about, really we mentioned that those symptoms are predominantly eye itching, eye irritation, a sandy, gritty feeling in the eye. With cases of red eye that are not as a result of conjunctivitis, like glaucoma, iritis, uh, or anterior uveitis, which is just inflammation in the front portion of the eye, those patients typically describe pain as their predominant symptom. So with conjunctivitis, I often ask patients, what's worse? Is it more itchy? Is it more gritty, sandy, just irritated? Or is it more painful? A large subset of these people will describe itching and irritation as the predominant symptom. They don't really mention that this is painful. If you see that pain is the predominant symptom in your red eye, uh, then I would get that looked at because it could mean that there's something else going on Uh, and going in to see an urgent care center, an optometrist or an emergency department is probably not a bad idea. The next symptom that we often get concerned about is something known as photophobia, which is simply a sensitivity to light. It really literally means a fear of light, uh, but more so it's sensitivity, pain with light exposure. A lot of the times we see people in the emergency department who come in wearing sunglasses uh, because they say that they can't look at the bright lights in the emergency department. And that's not a common symptom that you'll see with things like conjunctivitis. Uh, Most of the time, light sensitivity comes from irritation to your cornea, which is that clear uh, front layer of your eye. It's the first thing that light hits before it enters the eye. And unfortunately, your cornea doesn't have a good blood supply. So there's a bunch of things that can happen to your cornea. You can get infections, you can get inflammation of your cornea, you can get ulcers if that infection isn't treated. Uh, And whenever there's problems with the cornea, it's extremely sensitive, it's extremely uncomfortable, and you also get a lot of photophobia associated with this. Other things like anterior uveitis or uh, iritis where your iris becomes inflamed uh, and irritated can also give you a lot of light sensitivity and it's a big hallmark of those diagnoses. Conjunctivitis really normally does not give you any light sensitivity because it shouldn't be affecting your cornea. Now for cases of conjunctivitis that may be prolonged, that may be caused by unusual bugs, uh, those cases can eventually start to affect your cornea uh, and cause inflammation and infection and irritation and then in those cases again some patients may complain of light sensitivity but those are cases that we do want to see those are cases that sometimes we can use different medications to help alleviate the symptoms and provide follow-up to make sure that their symptoms are resolving so if you're seeing that you have a red eye with light sensitivity it is a good idea to get someone to have a look the third symptom that we're going to be talking about is decreasing vision with conjunctivitis you should not be noticing that your vision is reduced Some patients may describe that, you know, it's blurry in the morning when I wake up, my eyes are closed shut with pus, Uh, but usually when you wipe your tears, when you get that gunk off your eye, uh, really your vision should be at its baseline. You shouldn't notice any dramatic changes in your vision. If you notice that your vision is getting more blurry and it's persistently blurry, not just related to increasing tears or discharge, or if you notice that, uh, you know, just 
you wake up and your eye is red and you're not really seeing much and you have a lot of pain associated with this, that is not a symptom of conjunctivitis and that's something that you should get looked at. Again, we think about problems with the cornea. So if you have an ulcer, for example, on your cornea that's obstructing your vision, uh, if you have uh, inflammation of the cornea, if you have something deeper in your eye that's causing these problems, uh, there are other things aside from conjunctivitis that we need to be worried about here. So again, if you notice that you have a red eye and your vision is decreasing, somebody should probably have a look. The last thing we always take into consideration as healthcare providers is a prolonged bout of symptoms. So we mentioned that most cases of conjunctivitis, both viral, allergic, and bacterial cases, are self-limited. That means that most of these cases get better on their own and most of these get better on their own within a few days or within a week or so. If you're having symptoms of a red eye that you thought was conjunctivitis and they're not going away, it's been two weeks and your eye is still red, it's still irritated, at that point it's time to have somebody take a look. There are some cases of conjunctivitis that can take up to a couple of weeks to go away, but still, to be on the safe side, after about a week or so of symptoms, it's important to make sure that we're not missing anything else. Other things that sometimes go wrong with conjunctivitis is that prolonged antibiotic use, depending on what the antibiotic is, can possibly cause irritation to your eye and make that redness worse. So there are other benign causes that could account for the fact of why your eye has been red persistently. However, after about a week, about a week and a half, if you've tried all of those conservative things that we talked about in our previous episode, and you just see that your red eye isn't getting any better, it's important to have someone take a look at the very least to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, so that wraps it up for this week's episode. We've talked about conjunctivitis, what it is, how to manage it, and this week we talked about things that might look like conjunctivitis but maybe not are not conjunctivitis and when you should be worried, when you should get looked at. Obviously, remember this is all always for educational purposes only. If you're ever worried about your symptoms and you're concerned or you have any questions, we always recommend that you go and get seen by a qualified healthcare provider to make sure that everything is all right. Once again, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of DXTX. I'm your host, Sahan and Safi. I look forward to joining you again in one of our future episodes where we tackle some more common complaints that we see in the emergency department.